Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first week of July reads drop on the 1st through the 7th of July 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding Oracle Guidance as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that are offered as well in the description box. So Scorpio, let's see, what is coming in for you? Scorpio, what is coming in for you for this week time? We do have our first two cards here, Ace of Souls and the Emperor. So I really see somebody is uh, so sure of some decisions. Uh, in their life, I really feel like you know somebody is ready to um, I really feel like you know somebody is ready to embrace their feelings here. Uh, this person can be somebody um, who's coming towards you. Maybe there is a person out there who's going to approach you during this week time with so much clarity about you know what they intend to have with you. I really feel like you know. Somebody is coming in your life who's going to be very possessive of you. Somebody who's going to be so sure of uh, their feelings to you. It can be somebody from the past. It can be a person who has never expressed their feelings. But they will be communicating about their feelings to you very openly and honestly. So you are definitely going to be on the receiving end of uh, some sort of uh, major communication coming. And uh, I feel like you know, this communication is going to be like very clear, very crystal clear, very sure, very... You know, it's a something which is going to bring you a lot of clarity. Like, you know, this person is not going not to be hiding their true feelings or intentions or at all, or, you know, anything at all. This person is going to be very vocal. This person is going to be very clear of what they want, what they desire. And I really feel like, you know, this person desires to be in a relationship with you. So it can be a new person. It can be a past person. It can be somebody who has been crushing about you. Um, I really feel like, you know, it can be anyone, but this person seems like, you know, is, is uh, somebody who's very much in authority, somebody who's uh, aware of their own power, somebody who's very confident, somebody who's very mature, uh, somebody who's very, uh, who's, who's somebody who's very, um, this person is possessive, protective, this person has a lot of good uh, traits. I would say this person is the provider. This person would know how to keep you happy, successful, um, living the life that you dream of. This person is going to be like somebody who's rich and famous for majority of you. But I really see this person coming towards you, this person and entering in your life during this week time. And this person would not want anything but to be with you. And I feel like, you know, this person would want to get married to you. Sooner than you know, sooner than you think, it can possible. It can be possible. I really feel like, you know, things are going to happen in such a quick manner that you would be like, uh, um, you know, you, you would feel like, you know, life is, you know, happening so quick and fast. So somebody unexpected is coming in your life who's going to be ready to propose you, to be married to you, to... to to get committed to you. I feel like, you know, there is a commitment, there is a proposal, there is a marriage, uh, you know, um, on this person's mind, that that's when this person is approaching you. So it can be somebody from the past, it can be somebody new, it can be um, the current person too, maybe out of nowhere, they're ready to, you know, get married to you or something like that. But I really feel like, you know, it can be somebody new, or it can be a past person. The current person, I really don't see this person to be like someone who's already in your life. I really feel like this is a very unexpected offer coming your way. So it can be somebody from the past or somebody new for majority of you, but it can be the current person changing out of nowhere. But I really don't see the chance of that uh, very much here, but it can be for some of you because it's a general read. So we cannot rule that out. But yeah, let's see more cards here, Scorpio. What else is coming in for you in your life in this uh, week time? Again, I really feel like you know, this is somebody new for majority of you. This person is so sure of you, but I really see that you will have your doubts and fears or your reservations around it. The one thing which you would be concerned about is that probably this person is going to be very controlling, very possessive. 
this person would be somebody probably is, is somebody who is how you always wanted your person to be but maybe because this is a new person so you would have your reservations you would not know this person well and they would be wanting to get married to you so you would have that feeling that probably you're not ready and prepared for them uh, or you know for somebody you know you might be willing to get married to someone but then not to somebody completely new that you don't know and this person would be willing to get married to you sooner than you know it sooner than you can think of and i really feel like you know the 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 reservation that i see coming from your side would be that you know it's too early to to say yes to you or something like that but i really see that this person is coming in with the with a lot of uh, love and affection to offer you know this person is a lot of uh, um it's a small like i feel like you know whatever you have been craving wishing hoping desiring for this person has it all to offer to you and that to in abundance and I've, that's what i'm feeling like you know i really feel like you know the only concern that you're going to be having would be maybe things are happening so fast maybe this person seems like so good to be true um this person is offering you exactly what you wanted but maybe this is a new person so that's why you are going to be like you know uh, wanting some time but I really see something like that coming up for you during this week time currently probably you're feeling kind of left out you know lost and something and then you know somebody comes in with with the clear cut offer and that's you know that's something which is unexpected um, you don't feel like you're prepared for that uh, maybe it's it's gonna be like a major surprise coming up for you for some of you coming from the person that you have known before uh, it can be a new person too, but something which is exactly how you always wanted to have. So let's see what else is coming in for you. You have a gift uh, for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching or parenting children. This person can be somebody who is already having a kid or two. Um... Maybe you yourself could be like somebody who has kids too. And this person will have a very loving heart towards kids and everything. Um, so for some of you, this person can be married already. Maybe they are like somebody who's already like, you know, maybe they are divorced. Maybe the person, partner kind of like you know, passed away or something. But I really don't see this person having another partner in their life, to be honest. So even if they were once married... Uh, they are either divorced or they are like, you know, they have lost their partner. They might have kids for some of you. But if not, I really feel like you know, this person might see you as somebody who is they are very passionate towards or excited about. Because maybe you are adding that fun part or the, the the you know, uh, that, that energy in their life, which is more like, a you know, that of a child. You know, this person is going to be more like, you know, somebody who's going to take care of you. Uh, like you desire to be taken care of. So let's see more cards here. What else is coming in for you? What else is coming in for you? So there are so many cards. Let's see if we could take all of them. What else is coming in for you? There is deceit, financial blocks, the sun, the temple path, humility, and the thinking man. Now, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um let me take one card for the deceit card here what is it all about for some of you i really feel like you, know, you will have your concerns for two reasons one Maybe there is somebody that you are already dealing with and then this person comes in. So you're going to feel like, you know, if you say yes to this person, probably you're going to deceive the other one. Secondly, you will have your fears, doubts, thinking that what if this person is like, you know, not somebody who's trustworthy? What if they are hiding something? What, what if they are like, you know, not being honest to you or something like that? Or the third thing could be that because it's a false person for some of you, maybe you would have your concerns that they might have cheated on you once, they might have left you once, so you would have your concern if you could, you know, trust them again or not. Now, the best way to deal with this situation is ask for guidance, seek guidance from the heavens around shall you offer, shall you accept this offer or not. For some of you, this person could be coming in through your friends and family. This person can meet you. Uh, see you where, where where there are a lot of people um 
I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably this is somebody from the past who was dealing with financial crisis that time. Now they're returning back because they have taught a lot. They have worked things a lot and now they're ready to be with you. Uh, but I really feel like you know, this person can be somebody who's uh, religious or somebody who's, uh, uh, you know, very spiritual. Um, but I really feel like, you know, for some of you, let me take one more card from this deck. Why would they have it? I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe they were somehow cheated on. Like, you know, this person can be somebody who was once cheated on. And, you know, it's hard for them to trust as well. Um, you know, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, maybe they are somebody who's not ready to be in a relationship. But then when they see you, they believe that you are the perfect one for them. So something might have happened that way. And maybe they are going to love you because they have been through a lot in their love life too before you. And uh, when they see you, when they meet you, they feel like you could be the one for them. So something like that might come for you. So yeah, that's pretty much just coming up for you for this uh, week time. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.